Okay, this is my favorite section out of the chapter. It's like how to mess it up. <laughs> and really, that's what it is. I guess I could be more uh, formal about it, right? Misuses of statistical data. But really, you're going to mess it up. How are you going to mess it up, right? <laughs> And so here are some ways, and notice I, I emphasize you messing it up by these little bom time bombs, right? Um, and essentially, these are just a few ways that you can mess everything up in your study. But we, these are the types that we tr really honestly just try to avoid and really try to, you know, have good intent with our research and really try to get some, you know, good information without offending anyone without hurting our subjects or making them feel they're cornered, you know, um, I think that that's going to be really important. So the first one is sampling bias. I think we discussed that. You know, we just want a good representation of the population. The second one is voluntary response bias. And so that occurs when there's just not enough volunteers or the volunteers are all of the same group that doesn't represent the entire population. A self-interest study um, can be something like Coke or Pepsi, and Coke gives a study and says, "Here's free five dollars. Try it. Here's a. You like Coke, you know?" Um, and so, self-interest means that the researchers themselves are in the self-interest for them for their product or their branding. Pharmaceuticals is huge for the self-interest studies. Response bias means that um, the subject gives inaccurate responses perceived a lack of anonymity and that's really an an anonymity yeah um <laughs> uh is where the question is very private or maybe um fears how fears what their answer may how be a looked at or affected so um if that's the case, you would have to reword the question very carefully so a person and subject can answer very um, honestly and probably anonymously. If it's something like how, how much do you drink in a day or smoke in a day, it's going to be like you probably want it to be anonymous. Loaded questions, um, that's when it's just so many things are being asked that it gets confusing for the subject to really answer and the researchers to aggregate to get information from. And non-response bias just means that people just don't participate. You send out a survey, you think you're going to get voluntary response, and you get nothing. So um, that happens as well. All right, so let's go ahead and identify each source of bias. So a survey asked the person for the number of sexual partners he or she had in the past year. I'm like, oh, I don't want to answer that. And so um, even if it's not a lot or it is a lot, like I don't want to, I don't want you to know that information about me. Um, that's going to be the perceived lack of being anonymous. So you definitely, if you were going to have to ask this question for your study, then you definitely would want some sort of, you know, being, uh, that person can be anonymous when answering. Uh, no, one more time. Okay, a radio station asked listeners to phone in their choice in a daily poll. Right. Is everyone going to call in the entire world of listening to the radio? No, right? So the, who would call in? The people who wanted to. Voluntary. And that's what you say when they do take the poll. They say, oh, our listeners, blah, 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 because they're specifically targeting their listeners as the population. A substitute teacher wants to know how students in the class did on their last test. The teacher asks the 10 students sitting in the front row to state their latest test score. So if, if you have a whole class of 40, are the students in the front row a good representation of the entire class? No, right? So we definitely have some bias there. And so this would be sampling bias. All right, so high school students are asked if they have consumed alcohol in the last two weeks. So um, high school students asked uh, 
do you think if they went around and asked high school students underage if they drank, what kind of answer would you give if you were a teenager? I'd be like, ah, none. And even though you had like three, <laughs> none, right? So you're going to get a lot of inaccurate responses, right? So this would definitely be a response bias. But also it could be a lack of anonymity because um, if you could have that to be anonymous, it might actually get some, you might be able to get some information out. A beef council releases a study stating that consuming beef, right, red meat, poses little cardio cardiovascular risk. So a beef council did a study saying beef is good for you. Uh, that's a little bit of self-interest for me, right? So self-interest study. Okay, last one. A poll asked, do you support a new transportation tax or would you prefer to see our public transportation fall apart? <laughs> okay, so do I support transportation tax and then do I want my public transportation to fall apart? No, I do not want, I do not want the buses to explode and I do want to support that transportation tax. <laughs> and so there's just too much going on here, right? So this is definitely loaded questions. And um, it's okay if you have a lot of questions, you just need to make sure that it's not loaded and that they're separated into different parts of questions, like question one, question two, like make it very simple.